Now, your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Hey, good afternoon, folks. It was a soaker uh, earlier today across much of Corpus Christi. In fact, this evening, we're still hearing some thunder in parts of the area. Now, let's take a look at your live weather bug camera down in Rockport, where you've got a high and mid-level cloud deck out there, 83 degrees, south-southeast winds at 9 miles an hour. No significant rain right there, but take a look at the accumulated rainfall elsewhere. Just skipped over the Rockport area and then really uh, fired up again right over the south side of Corpus Christi. Naval Air Station, 2.7 inches. My place on the southeast side of town, a little over 2 inches. And down around Baffin Bay, that storm continues to rage as it moves south away from us. Well, we've gotten over 2 inches of rain there as well. You can see this on the satellite radar loop as the storm system develops along an axis that's defined by an upper level disturbance from the upper Texas coast down across our area, and it's moving southward with time. Now, that's part of an upper level system that extends into the southern Mississippi Valley, but it doesn't account for the cloud material down off Mexico that will be moving northward with yet another disturbance that will continue our rainfall scenario through the end of the work week. You can see that most temperatures across the states in the 80s and 90s, Del Rio at 101 degrees, and Corpus, the cool spot, at 76. In fact, there's that large area of rain-cooled air lingering over much of the coastal bend, where you've got temperatures ranging from the middle 70s to the lower 80s. Where it didn't rain, yes, it's hot. Catula sitting at 96 degrees. It's substantially drier out there. Most people are bathed in that humidity with lower to middle 70 dew points. And George West back towards Beeville still feel like summer. Upper 90s to 101 degrees in heat index values. Everybody else is enjoying the respite of cool air. For the next couple of days, we're going to see periods of rain and thunderstorms traverse the area. And then by Thursday afternoon, another wave of instability coming up from the south. And that continues to fire into Friday. Finally, by early Saturday, it begins to wind down as the upper level system moves away. And yes, uh, we start to see the impact of Saharan dust moving into the area, but not before another one to three inches of rain hits the region. Now here's that upper level disturbance moving across the area, and after it departs to the north, we see the high pressure move in and sets us up for a pretty nice weekend and the early part of next week. So here's what it's looking like tonight. 77, your overnight low, mostly cloudy, still scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area. That continues through your day on Thursday with temperatures rising into the upper 80s. And then by Friday, another heavy rain potential day. Finally, late Friday night into early Saturday morning, it comes to an end. And then Saturday, Sunday, Monday on into Tuesday, a gentle warming trend with fair skies. Again, between Thursday and Friday, significant rain, another one to three inches is possible, depending on where you are. Keep up on the latest forecast. We'll be here. You'll be here watching us. Drew? Okay, Bill, thank you.